My name is Stefan Britz. Uh, I'm a lecturer at the University of Cape Town in the Department of Statistical Sciences. Our course uh, is a first-year statistics course rolled out to an incredibly large number of students. We're talking about the order of about 1,400 students, uh, which traditionally have been lacking engagement um, within the classroom. So we implemented a blended learning model where we flipped the classroom about halfway, where we uh, still have face-to-face -face engagement where the students get the opportunity to put into practice what we give them online. So the main point of engagement is through Sakai, through our Vula VLE, um, they engage with the learning material before they come to the class where we get them in an environment where they can put into practice what they have learned. The most prevalent tool that the students engage with uh, is the lessons tool. Um, in which they receive all their video lectures, um, they get referred to the reading material within it, and following each of those, uh, they get links to the quizzes that check their understanding of the concepts conveyed in those videos and in the reading material. Us as pedagogues made great use of the test and quizzes uh, tool, um, not only for the quizzes, but for weekly assignments, for their class tests, for an Excel test that we hold once per semester, um, and we've even used the test and quizzes tool to administer examinations, uh, which makes marking, well, redundant. <laughs> By the time they walk out of the classroom, we, we know what the average for the exam is, we know exactly how the class performed. Other tools that were very useful, uh, especially in terms of engaging with the students in an online virtual environment, has been the question and answer tools. Um, that we used to provide the students a platform where they can engage with the lecturer on any specifics that they might be struggling with. One great advantage of the Q&A tool is that it allows the lecturer a lot of freedom as to how they want to answer the question. Do they want to just answer it using text? Uh, do they want to add some screenshots from something they've created? Uh, we often record videos that we upload uh, to go through a detailed explanation answering the student's question uh, or just upload some pictures. And from the students' point as well, uh, we often get screenshots or pics, little JPEGs of a quick question of something they didn't quite understand. And sometimes they can get immediate feedback, um, but it will always reach them within a day. The Q&A tool is not the only one we use for engagement. Uh, we also have a forums tool, which they can use to engage with their tutors. Uh, as well as the chat room where they can discuss certain things with each other. The dynamic nature of the course uh, has been a great advantage in that we can react to the needs of the students, not just from one semester to the other, but also from one week to the next. If we see there are certain niches that need to be filled, then we can adapt the site and we can adapt the course to fill the needs of those students. Sakai blended beautifully with the quantitative nature of our course. Um, because everything is numeric, the assessments were done seamlessly. Uh, the marking and the assessment was actually made very easy by the existing Sakai tools. In the end, we didn't have to change the VLE environment much to adapt to the course. We rather met it halfway, mm -hmm. where we adapted some of the course to fit what was already there. And with the help of our local LMS support team, uh, we were able to put everything in place to present the course as we thought would be ideal without having to compromise too much. Uh, interestingly enough, the very first time we ran this course, there was mutiny amongst the students. Uh, it, there was complete outrage. Our poor head of department sat with, with parents in her office for the first couple of weeks. Uh, it's interesting to note that the students refused initially to accept this new model uh, of receiving lectures online, as opposed to the, the old, out, I wouldn't say outdated, but the old-fashioned lecture system. We dragged them through that first course, kicking and screaming all the way, and the results were still very satisfactory. The second time around, all the negative feedback disappeared. It's, it's as if they were complacent mm. knowing that it has been successful previously, even though I think the majority of them weren't exactly aware of how long we had been implementing this model. 
there, there are dangers of becoming complacent uh, in a course like this because it tends to run itself after a few mm-hmm. instances. Um, so you, you can't progress on the laurels. You have to continuously ask yourself and ask your students where there are room for, where there is room for improvement. Rather, um, one element that we are exploring and desperately want to add to the course is that of gamification, mm-hmm. uh, adding incentives uh, or incentivization to to encourage the students to participate in different elements of the course. 